We'll start out at 34th and Spruce from a bird's eye view, come over top of the museum. In the top seven floors are the patient rooms, so all of those are all patient room windows. And then three levels below that are the interventional and ORs. Coming down here onto Health Sciences Drive, you can see on the left is the SEPTA station, and overhead is a new bridge that we'll be building over the next two years. On the right, steps up to a walkway that we'll get to later on, but right here, this is covered bike area right there. That's the entrance to Lot 7. And we'll move down now along Health Sciences Drive. On the right, the darker wall, that is the emergency department. So we're going to turn the corner now and head up Convention Avenue. Perlman Center obviously is on the left. You'll see the two bridge connections between Perlman Center and the pavilion. And here we have the emergency department. We have five ambulance bays here well off the street. And right adjacent to them are another five parking spaces for vehicles and drop-offs to the emergency department. Coming back out onto Convention Avenue, we'll continue up, but on your right is the entrance that goes down into the parking garage below the building. This is the vehicular entrance to basically the front or the main lobby of the building. There's two vestibules coming into the main lobby. We'll start by going to the first one. So this is the main lobby, the information desk, and the second vestibule there on your left. escalators up to the next level, which we'll get back to. But we're going to continue on towards 33rd and 34th Street, where all that tunnel work is going on. And this area is a lounge, pretty flexible space. We're going to have numbers of kiosks that can easily be adapted over the years, changed out. There'll be some food, amenities, and some other things, but really looking for the ability to change things over time relatively easily. As we go past the escalator here on your left is one of the public elevator lobbies. There are two of them in this building. But we'll go up the escalator and we'll again head towards up west. This will be the bridge connection directly across over the street to the Silverstein building. Again, there's a lounge area here. We have an opening in the floor between these two for suspended art. Here you're on really the main connector between the three buildings. On the right, you'll see a little green roof there. That's actually the canopy at the vehicular drop-off. And on the right here will be the bridge that will take you across Convention Avenue into the Perlman Center. So that will go directly into what today is the East Pavilion and straight through the East Pavilion elevator lobby into the atrium. Continuing on along the Convention Avenue face, this is the servery and cafeteria that actually extends out over top of the ambulance bays. But we'll go through the servery and into the seating and dining area. 
And you'll see lots of various seat styles and seating arrangements. None of this has really been finalized. We'll make this part of the chair fair. We're really trying to meet lots of different people's needs and requirements in this space. So now we're going to head to the walkway between buildings and the connection to the SEPTA station. There's a short stair here. There's also an elevator through these doors. And here you can look across the bridge, across Health Sciences Drive to the SEPTA station. Lot 7 there. And then we'll turn and go down this walkway between the two buildings. Really a pedestrian focus, lots of landscaping, hardscaping. There'll be benches, seating, just a really nice place for someone to go and rest and a little bit of respite. On the left, as we go by here, you can see in the windows, those are the two lounges on the ground floor and level one. On the right, Another one of our smaller bike areas, but that's a direct pedestrian crossing there across to Hup West. Heading towards Perlman Center and the intersection here, you'll see a pretty large bike area as well. And now we're going to go back to the bird's eye view and see the main drop off there with the canopy. And as we swing around, what we call the nose of the building, this strip of glass that's floor to ceiling, which will be, I think, a really nice architectural feature at night that will all be lit up.